Hi, welcome to Local Flavor. I'm Deborah Anderson and today I'm pretty excited to make a big bowl of summer for you. We're going to make a watermelon spinach salad. And I know that doesn't sound quite right. It's not you're mixing the fruit and the spinach, but you know I'm a total addict of spinach so I'm going to try and throw it into whatever I can. So I'm going to start first by making the dressing and I'm going to uh, you could whisk it in a bowl, but I really love my little dressing shaker, so I'm going to start with that. And we're going to put in a quarter cup of rice vinegar. Now mine looks pretty dark. We've had it a while. If you buy it fresh at the store, it's quite a bit lighter. Vinegars don't really go bad, but they do change a little in how they look. So we've got a quarter cup of that. And now I'm going to grate up some lime peel. I did rinse these off just in case there was any preservatives. I need a tablespoon of grated lime peel. I think I'm just going to do it on here and try and gather it up. So I'm using my microplane and the peel just gives it a really bright flavor. And then I'm going to actually use the limes for juice in it too. But I need a whole tablespoon so I have two limes. Sometimes limes are easy to get juice out of and sometimes not, so I got two just in case. That looks pretty close to a tablespoon. So I'm gonna shake it in, very pretty. And now I need a couple tablespoons of lime juice. So I borrowed Tanya's juice press again. That's right, it goes upside down of how you think. I hope this will squeeze in right. Two tablespoons is what I need. It looks like I should be able to get it out of one lime. Ew, even half a lime. These ones were pretty big and easy to squeeze, so that's two tablespoons. And now I need two tablespoons of oil. Now you can use just plain canola oil if that's what you have on hand, or olive oil is always good in salads. I've been feeling really, really in an Asian mood lately, so I'm gonna use sesame oil since I had it. And with the rice vinegar, um, it'll be a nice complimentary oil, I think. You, if you don't like rice vinegar, you can use white wine vinegar also. So just keep that in mind. This is a delicious salad and it's not very complicated to make, but it does have some ingredients that you might not have on hand, like the vinegars and stuff. But once you buy them once, they'll be in your pantry forever. So you just use so little of it. Okay, next we have the ginger root. This is fresh ginger root. I'm gonna scrape it into this, peel it into here. Uh, you don't have to peel it. I don't really like the woodiness of the outer shell. It says to mince it, but I'm going to actually uh, use the microplane because if you bite into ginger, a big chunk of it, you're going to get a mouthful of lemon pledge smell taste. So it makes things taste great, but I would never just, oh, you know, that. So That's close enough, and let's microplane it so it'll be nice and mushy. I'll do it on here again. Now I need four whole teaspoons, which is a little bit more than a tablespoon. So that's quite a bit of ginger. Ginger root you can find just with your regular vegetable area, in the regular vegetable area at the grocery store. Probably close. I'm gonna put it in here just in case. Well, this is gonna be a mess to clean up in the dishwasher. Four teaspoons of ginger root. And then we have garlic cloves. I tried to pick the smaller ones because these um, that I've been getting lately with the purple in them 
seems like they're really huge for one thing and pretty hot. So I tried to pick two smaller ones since this will be a fresh salad and we won't be um, cooking them to tame them, tame them down a little bit. Don't cooperate with me. Meanies. And that's all the things we have to work really hard on. The rest is just salt, sugar, and pepper. Basic things that go in just about everything. I need a quarter of a teaspoon of sugar. And a half teaspoon of salt. So let's do this twice. This is a little bit of table salt and a little bit of sea salt. I was emptying up two different containers. And then, oh, I hope I can get it open. Yay. This is a quarter teaspoon of pepper. If I have my spices in these, it's because I buy a lot of them in bulk at Glenn's Bulk Foods, just west of South Hutchinson. <laughs> Now, if you had this in a bowl, you would whisk it together until it's pretty emulsified. I'm just going to give it a shake. And as soon as we've got this shaked up, I'll shake it again right before I pour it on the salad. Now I'm going to take a short break so I can clean this stuff up and get out the rest of the salad ingredients. Great news, Next Tech customers. Now you can play Sunday Funday Bingo every week for your chance to win cash prizes and free service. Play along with your bingo cards included in your Next Tech bill, or go to nexttech.com slash bingo to print out your own cards. Tune in to Next Tech Local One Sunday nights at 6 p.m. Bingo is brought to you by Genuine Appliance American Mattress, Angels Care Home Health, Aqua Shield Roofing and Construction, Rogers and Associates Insurance, Cedar View Assisted Living, Next Tech Wireless, All Faiths Funeral Chapel, and Better Water. In a recent independent study that compared Nextech and the local cable company, internet pages loaded 16.9% faster with Nextech internet and performed better in every category tested. Leave your slow internet behind. Switch to Nextech and we'll give you a month free just to try it. Plus, mention this ad and the code best price and we'll give you a great discount too. Certain restrictions apply. Switch to Nextech internet, proven to be the fastest. Imagine for a moment three ripe, crisp apples. The first apple costs $1, the second, 10, and the third, 30. They all taste the same, so you buy the first one, right? Now imagine your cell phone company. Next Tech Wireless offers two lines and four gigabytes of data for $80. US Cellular charges $90 and Verizon charges $110. Switch to Next Tech Wireless to stop overpaying for your cell phone service. Ask about the Samsung Galaxy S6 for $0 down. Angels Care Home Health, serving Russell and all the surrounding areas, is a Medicare certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing services to patients in their homes or wherever they reside. She, she takes my blood pressure and listens to me breathe and ask me how I'm doing. Whatever the need, Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Contact Angels Care today for more information on our home health services and how we can help you stay healthy. Angels Care Home Health, we serve patients. Hi, welcome back to Local Flavor. We're making a watermelon spinach salad and now we're getting to the big chunks of goodness that we're gonna put in. And I started by rinsing my spinach and I'm gonna spin it out. It does come pre-rinsed in the bag, but as you know, I love my salad spinner. Well, that is a lot of water. Let me get it poured out. I was gonna wipe it up with my, with my uh, towel, but it was way too much. And I thought it was pretty dry when I put it in. So see why you need a salad spinner? I will mention that this salad, um, once you assemble it, you should serve it right away. So I'm trying to keep as little water in this as possible so my spinach doesn't wilt any sooner than it needs to.
I would say that this isn't something you could make the day before and serve it the next day. You could maybe get all the ingredients prepped and then once you get to your little potluck, then assemble it right there. I need about four cups of spinach. Now, I love spinach. Sp uh, you could use baby spinach. This one isn't quite baby, so I'm gonna tear it a little bit. I love spinach, so if I air, I'm gonna air on the side of too much spinach. So if I tear it up a little, I can fit more in the pan, <laughs> in the cup. Spinach, so good for you. Good for your eyes. And so few calories. It has a lot more nutrients in it than regular lettuce. This is gonna have spinach and then watermelon, of course. Those are in the title. And then it's gonna have either cantaloupe or honeydew, some sort of other melon in it. I have a little bit of both. I actually found something new that I hadn't found before. I mean, I have honeydew all the time. It's one of my favorite melons. But the honeydew I bought, when I opened it up, it was an orange honeydew, which I did, had not ever met before. <laughs> so it was called the Orange Delicious. So I actually plan to have a little bit more green in here from the honeydew but we'll just have more orange. They taste almost like a cantaloupe. It was a little sweeter, a little tiny bit earthier, but very similar. If you tasted it without having a cantaloupe right next to it, I bet you couldn't tell it was not a cantaloupe. I know you're bored of looking at me tear up spinach, but that's only half of what we need. <laughs> I think I'm also gonna cut it tiny, and this time I'm gonna push it down because this way we can fit more in. Sometimes I tear off the stems. You, you can eat them. I like to tear them off because my little dog loves to eat vegetables too, and I always like to like eat the broccoli, the tree part, and then give her the stem. And she'll, it's nice, it's nice to have a partner like that who eats the part that is not that great. You know, you get that little bag of spinach and it doesn't look like there's very much in there, but when you pour it out, it gets pretty big, doesn't it? That's a lot. Of, look at that, that came out of a bag. <laughs> when this salad is done, about a cup of it, a whole serving of it is less than 100 calories. So even with dressing on it, it's really got a lot of nutrition and not very many calories. Okay, so that's about four cups of spinach, and I'll set that aside. Does anybody want to look at all these dirty things? And let's start on the melons. We're going to cube these. This one is a regular cantaloupe. I thought these cantaloupe looked a little weak, but it, when you cut them open, they were pretty good. These need to be cubed about the size of like when you buy the cubes of cheese. So I'm gonna cut a ring of it just to get the first cut right. Well, it was right on one side. And I'm using a Santoku knife and cutting off the edge. I need about two cups of this. So I'm going to do one cup of regular cantaloupe and one cup of the orange delicious honeydew. And I wish I could make them perfect cubes like I see in pictures, but how's that for a loud slicing? That's the side that got a little big. You see melons in a fruit salad a lot, but not necessarily in a, this is like a fruit and vegetable salad. I think it really goes together well. 
Just give it a chance. You'll be surprised. Okay, the rest of it I'm going to use the Orange Delicious. If you've never met one, like me, it looks just like a cantaloupe. I found it um, to be a little sweeter than the cantaloupe I got this time. Of course, it's kind of hit and miss, as you know. I wish I could cut really fast like they do on in the French cooking school. I, mean, I, I love to use my knife and cutting board, and yet I've never gotten that fast at it. Looks like we need a little bit more, so I'm going to do honeydew. Orange delicious. It's a good time of year to make these. Uh, we're all at picnics and it is melon season right now. So you can find sometimes ones that your neighbor give you, gives you because they got too many. That makes it even better. And then those are usually picked at the right time. Sometimes at the grocery store they pick them a little too soon. To meet the demand, I guess. Let's try this side. Now see, when I was buying these melons, I thought, it's hard to, rec it's just like this. This is so much more spinach than I thought it would be. And there's so much more of these melons than I thought there'd be. So we'll have that ready to go in. And now we're gonna put in three cups of Watermelon. I actually have some of this pre-cut, but I wanted to show you a fun way. I actually found a picture on the internet of a fun way to cut these, and this is how I cut it up. It reminds me of when you go to like a charity event and they have pizza, and they've got the pizza cut so narrow. And you get one, you go, this is so fun and convenient to eat. Why won't, well, don't, aren't all the pizzas cut like this? So, I love this because you can just pull one out of the middle. So cool. Oops, this is for the salad. <laughs> but I do have some already cut up. This is seedless watermelon. It's not 100% seedless, but at least you won't have too much to spit out. There's two cups and I need another one. This is a big mess. Look how much I spilled. See, look at all the liquid coming out of that. There's going to be a lot of liquid, plus the, the dressing didn't look like we made very much, but you're going to get some liquid and flavor out of the melons, too. Okay, I'm going to cut up some cucumber. If you use English cucumber, it's a little bit sweeter. Um, I'll go ahead and start peeling this and cut it. It's also going to be cubed and I need about two cups of this also. And I'll go ahead and take a break so you don't have to watch that happen, but when you get back it'll all be done. Dignity, respect, professionalism, commitment, and fairness are the five core values you can expect from All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. 
At All Face Funeral Chapel, they consider it an honor to serve you and your family and their community. Built in 2010, their large state-of-the-art facility includes dining and reception hall to accommodate large funeral dinners, even anniversaries and weddings. They also sell customized monuments and offer pre-arranged services. All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. Did you know? It's not just water, it's better water. Better Water with Smith Center completes all your hydration needs. They sell Lundy Spring systems, including water softeners, reverse osmosis, water coolers, and bottled water. They won't just install your system, they will service and repair it too. Better Water can repair Echo Water systems and all other major brands. They offer softener salt sales and delivery for your convenience. Serving all of Northwest Kansas. It's not just water, it's better water. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedar View Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedar View. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedar View Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. You're in the right place, the see it before you buy place, the professional staff place, the have it delivered place. Frigid Air Gallery and Genuine Appliance has real stainless steel with fewer fingerprints and smudges. Ranges with true convection speed bake. Quietest in its class dishwashers. Refrigerators with the freezer on the top, the bottom, or side by side. Frigid Air Gallery and Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th and Hayes. The best price place. You're in the right place. Welcome back to the watermelon spinach salad episode. And when you left, we were cutting up the cucumber. It's just a regular cucumber. Um, and it took the whole thing. I had to uh, peel it, and then I also tried to de-seed it pretty, not perfectly, but that's about two cups of cucumber. Also during the break, uh, we cut up the cilantro. We need about a half a cup, and I'm never gonna complain if there's extra cilantro in there. We used the herb scissors to get it cut up. So that makes it a lot faster to cut. Sometimes it's hard to get it out of those little holes. And then this is two green onions that I have cut up. So we're ready to put it all together and toss it. Remember we have four cups of spinach, two cups of melon, three cups of watermelon. And I'm gonna try to get this out without the juice. because I saw some juice pour in there, and we'll have plenty of juice. Then our cucumbers. Um, I didn't used to love cucumbers, and now I really, I can even eat them alone now. And it all started because of Greek food, because if you eat Greek food, like if you like gyros, they put that tzatziki sauce on it, which I can't pronounce, but <laughs> it starts with a T and has a Z in it, and it has, it's like a yogurt sauce with just a teeny tiny bit of cucumber. And I loved that. And then it gets to where you get used to that flavor. And now I love cucumbers themselves. And my friend Tanya says that they learned that your taste buds change every seven years. So if there's something you hate, you should keep trying it because you might change. So I'm living proof. <laughs> Here we go. And this is two scallions, two green onions just cut up. And then my favorite, our big thing of cilantro. Half cup, maybe a little more. I'm gonna actually eat my salad on this so I even get some more cilantro. <laughs> and I'm gonna toss it with my salad tongs, just a little bit. And then I'll wait until I get on my dressing to toss the rest. Look at the color in this though. Isn't that, doesn't that look good even without the dressing? Hey, I'm gonna put, just a minute. I'm gonna make a dressingless one try it without dressing <laughs> and then I'm also going to put on all the dressing again if I were making this at home I would probably not assemble it until we're ready to eat it meaning all these things would be separate in the fridge until because we can't eat the whole thing with just us two because it's going to wilt your spinach so you'll want to eat all of it and serve it right away Smells very Asian with all of that ginger root and the rice vinegar. 
And even the sesame oil, if you smell it, that toasted sesame oil smells just a little bit Asian. Mm, I wish you could smell it. It's, un it's You can't imagine it. You really can't. So there's mine to taste. Let me get my fork. See all the goodness in there? Here's the cucumber. That dressing, it has just a little bit of sweetness from that sugar. And then as you bite it, you go, oh yeah, there's ginger. And you get a little bit of that toasted sesame flavor. Mmm. And that had to have been some orange delicious. Very, very sweet. And then when you get a bite of cilantro, that's just, it's just like you can't taste it all in one bite. You have to keep eating it, and it's like a tour, <laughs> a tour around your garden. A lot of people, when they taste it, say it tastes like summer in a bowl. So I encourage you, while it's melon season, take advantage. Get out there. Get your melons. Chop them up. Experiment with fun ways to chop them and experiment with how many things you taste when you put this salad in your mouth. Mm. Mm. That was my first watermelon. I love it. I love how the spinach kind of tames it down a little too. Anyway, I'm going to get back to this. I'll see you next time on Local Flavor. Have a good day.